I'm Roger Bindle. I'm at the Schumacher Farm Park for harvesting. Today they are cutting and binding wheat. Behind me is the binding machine in operation. The binding machine cuts and binds the wheat into bundles, which are stacked into shocks. The bundles make it easier for carrying and transporting to a threshing machine. The binder is too wide for narrow roads and getting through gates, so it is mounted on removable transport wheels for pulling it lengthwise in its narrower profile. To prepare for harvesting, the tongue is moved forward, the grain wheel lowered, and the transport wheels removed when the bull wheel is lowered. The bull wheel propels the binder. The original binders from 1874 used wire for binding. Unfortunately, animals occasionally ate the wires and people cut their hands handling the bundle as wires got mixed in the straw. In 1880, wire was replaced by twine when an inventor figured out how to tie knots inside the binder. Both were Wisconsin inventors. This model is a 1930s generation Cormac Deering grain binder, and these are scenes from the 2015 harvest at Schumacher Farm Park.